Hey Calvary, Pastor Chad here. I just wanted to bring you an update on where we are as a church in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. By now, I'm sure you've heard that President Trump extended the uh, social distancing guidelines for uh, an extra 30 days. And so we are, as a church, going to uh, follow those guidelines and not have any activities on our campuses uh, through the month of April. Uh, as well as that, Governor Ducey has issued the stay at home order. So we're, we're trying to protect the most vulnerable members of Calvary and of our community by following these guidelines. Uh, now, like you, I'm grieving the reality that we're not going to be meeting for Easter. Uh, but the work of God is still continuing through Calvary. Uh, we've already seen uh, to this point uh, four baptisms and we've got more scheduled and, and God is changing lives even in the midst of this pandemic. So I, I just want to encourage you to continue being faithful, continue, to continue seeing the hand of God at work in your life and through the life of Calvary. Now there are some changes that we want to share with you and some encouragements we want to offer. Uh, first of all, because of the new guidelines and the extension, we're going to be closing Calvary's office to the public. Uh, now, pastors are still going to be available. If you uh, need an appointment uh, by phone or by uh, video, then uh, please call the church office, email the church office, and we will set up a time to be able to minister to you, talk with you, help you in any way that we can. Uh, in addition to that, our benevolence team is still going to be uh, operating at the normal hours at the McCulloch campus. So Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to noon and Thursdays from 1 to 3 p.m., they're available for anybody uh, from the church or the community that needs help. And, and let me just say this, if you're in a place where you need some assistance or if you know somebody in the community that might need some assistance, then please Contact us, allow us to help you. We have resources dedicated to helping people in a difficult spot get through this time, and we don't want anybody to go hungry. We don't want anyone to miss their rent payments. We don't want anyone to, to find themselves in a dire predicament when there is help available. So uh, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, we want to be here to help people make it through. Again, whether they're part of the Calvary family or you just know them and you see them and you know they're in need, send them to us or invite us to be a part of that solution. Now, I also have to say, uh, I praise God for the faithfulness of Calvary's people. Uh, for your giving through this difficult time, and, and I'm just grateful for uh, the way that you're honoring God and blessing us so that we can continue to bless others in Jesus' name. Uh, but at the same time, I know some people have asked me uh, specifically, Pastor, how do we give? We're not there at church. We don't have offering boxes that we can just drop the money into. So, so how are we able to continue contributing to the work of God? And, and there's uh, many ways you can actually continue to give. First of all, uh, we have text to give as a church. So the number is 928-316-0030. And if you just text that, then follow the instructions on your phone and you'll be able to donate to Calvary. Or you can go to our website, calvarylhc.com, calvaryaz.com, and there is a place you can give on that website. You can set up that account and, and uh, use a debit card or direct deposit, whatever you want to do. Uh, the other way you can give is you can mail it into the church, whether you want to do the old-fashioned way and actually write a check. For those of you under 40, you can Google what a check is. Uh, but you can write a check and you can you know, put it in an envelope, address it, Lick the stamp, mail it to us. Make sure you send it to the McCulloch campus, 1605 McCulloch Boulevard South, 86406, if you want it to get there. Now, the, the thing I do is through online banking, I just uh, automatically have uh, that go out of my, my checks every month. I don't write the check, but the bank does. They mail it to Calvary, and they get it that way, too. So you can mail in your checks, or if you want to hand deliver it, that's perfectly fine, too. You can come to the McCulloch campus. We're putting in a drop box. Uh, it's locked, it's safe, it's secure, and you'll be able, anytime you want to, to drive up, drop it off in that box. It'll be collected daily, so it won't be at risk. So um, if you're looking for ways to bless the kingdom of God, continue your faithful giving to honor Jesus, then uh, we want to help you be faithful in that. Uh, finally, let me just share this with you. I know that, that this is dragging on for another 30 days, and like you, I'm grieving that we're not going to be able to worship together in the same place on Easter. 
Uh, I'm grieving being able to see you and greet you and celebrate the life change together that we're seeing in Jesus Christ. But here's what I know. The Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 5 says this, but we rejoice in our suffering. We rejoice in our suffering because suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character and character produces hope and hope does not disappoint. All of us right now are, are looking at the next 30 days and kind of going, what in the world are we going to be doing? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to endure with joy because we are blessed people. Every one of us is blessed. First of all, if you're in a relationship with Jesus Christ, then you know that you're blessed because all good things come from God. And, and we're, you know, enduring this time in homes with beds and couches and TVs and Internet. We've got enough food to eat. Uh, if you don't have enough toilet paper, ask, because I, I know some of the hoarders. Uh, but we've got enough necessities. We're not lacking for those things. You know, the, through the CARES Act, the government's going to give us back some of our tax money, and you're going to get some checks, and they're going to help small businesses. There's, there's help available. We're blessed. We've got family or friends that, that are encouraging us. Uh, but most of all, we know that the best is yet to come. Because again, the Apostle Paul in Romans 8 said, I don't consider these present sufferings worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in us. So I want you to take heart. I want you to realize that God is at work. I want you to realize that he wants to teach you how to be more like Jesus through this. And I want you to rejoice because in Jesus Christ, the best is yet to come. God bless. We're praying for you.